The saline nasal rinse can be used for a runny nose, a stuffy nose, congestion, caused from things like a cold, flu, allergies, and loads more. And if you've just purchased my neti pot sinus rinse bottle from Amazon, then it's time to learn how to use it and how to do the saline rinse properly for maximum benefit. So, let's begin. Step number one, do not waste your money on expensive salt sachets to make your saline solution. You can easily make your own saline solution at home with common non-iodized powdered salt that we all use at home. It is super easy to do, and that's why we don't include those salt sachets with your neti pot sinus rinse bottle because you can do it at home. And here's how you do it. Kettle, water, boil, container. One teaspoon of non-iodized powdered salt. Add 300 ml of boiled water. Mix. And your saline solution is now ready. Now remember, when you make your saline solution, you must always boil the water. And also, you need to let this solution cool down to a tepid temperature before you add it to your neti pot sinus rinse bottle to prevent damaging it. Lastly, whenever you make your saline solution, you need to make a fresh batch. Don't use this for later on, okay? You can't do that. Now let's dive straight into step number two, getting ready. Stand over a sink, blow your nose, wash your hands, and then fill your neti pot sinus rinse bottle to the 300 mil mark sign with your saline solution that we've just made and then close the lid and we can move on to the next step. And step number three, rinsing the nasal passage. We're gonna start with our right nostril. So you're gonna tilt your head forward like so, towards the left. Make sure you leave your mouth open slightly because you're gonna breathe in and out from your mouth only when you're doing the nasal rinse. Hold your neti pot sinus rinse bottle upside down like so. Maintain the mouth open. I'm gonna move into a voiceover in a second, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the tip firmly in your right nostril and then click the valve like so. So observe, tilt forward to the left, stick this in like so, and let's go. Press and hold the valve to initiate the flow. You need to remember to continue breathing in and out of your mouth as you normally would do. You're gonna see the saline solution flow through your nasal passage and out of your left nostril. That's why we tilt this way so gravity does its work. Use half the solution, then release the valve to stop. Diving straight into step number four, right nostril now done. Now before we move on to the left nostril, you're gonna have some residual solution left in your nasal passage. Super normal, very normal for this to happen, and you've got two options to get rid of it. Option one is you get some tissue, you grab a little bit like so, and you've gotta be super gentle. I can't emphasize how gentle you have to be, so don't pinch your nose completely, very light grip like so, and just blow very softly. If you blow forcefully, you are really gonna hurt your ears, and you don't want that, so it has to be super gentle. Option two, to get rid of it as well, is just a sniff up very gently like so, just like that, and you'll get the residual solution going into the back of your throat, and you can just spit that out. So that's the two options. And for the left nostril, we are gonna repeat step three. The only difference is we're holding the device in our left hand this time. So again though, we're gonna tilt our head forward, but this time we're gonna tilt to the right, okay? So we're gonna put the device in our nostril firmly, and I'm gonna do a voiceover again. So let's go, and don't forget to breathe through your mouth. So press and hold the valve to initiate flow. You're gonna see the saline solution flow through your nasal passage and out of your right nostril. That's why we tilt this way so gravity does its work again, and use the remaining solution, then release the valve to stop, and you're done. And now we can repeat step four to get rid of any residual solution we have left in our nasal passage, and that's it. Job done, well done. It takes a bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it in no time. Now, generally speaking, the neti pot sinus rinse bottle can be used once or twice a day, or however often as you need for symptomatic relief. After using it, you're gonna give it a wash with warm soapy water. I've already washed this, but the main thing you gotta remember is you gotta just leave it to air dry like so. Now my Neti Pot Sinus Rinse Bottle is available on Amazon worldwide. I'm gonna leave links to it in the description and in the pinned comments. So definitely do check it out. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you for using my product. And also, please don't forget to leave me a five-star review on Amazon as well. I will really appreciate it. Sending awesome vibes.